site of our very first matchup of the night between the Timberwolves and Rockets. Houston reached the All-Star break. Best record in the league for the first time in franchise history. For more, hi, Cassidy. Hey, Beats. What you talking about, Jalen? The rodeo's in town. Get with it. He's just trying to be, be with his people. Come I'll on see. now, Take Jay. two steps and draw. Uh -uh. Yeah, exactly. All right, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a Rockets <laughs> roster update. Uh, Eric Gordon, he's doubtful for tonight with an illness. However, Trevor Ariza will be back in the lineup after missing nine games with that hamstring injury. He will be starting. So Luke Rashad and Bamute is going back to the bench, and he was holding it down for this team during that winning championship streak. Oh, by the way, they added seven-time All-Star Joe Johnson and 10-year vet Brandon Wright to this already deep bench. P.J. Tucker said this is maybe the deepest team I've ever been on, maybe seen. And Ryan Anderson said this is by far the most talented team that I've ever played on. And we just spoke with Mike D'Antoni and he was like, well, now I just got to figure out how to play all of these guys. And the message he's been sending his team is that some guys will be squeezed. He actually told Brandon and Joe I tried to paint the worst possible nightmare for them because if they get more minutes, then great. I look great. But if they don't, well, I, I, I told you so. So let me ask you this, Jalen. This team is rolling. They've won 10 straight, as you said. Can having too much depth ruin their flow? <laughs> that conversation is going to be had a lot in NBA circles. And I have a coach to my left. Absolutely not. No way. You Can you want be too all rich? Of them. Give me all of them. It's like asking somebody, do they have too much money? I have too much money. I can't. Bill Gates or Oprah Winfrey, they'll push you over for $100 on the floor. <laughs> That's how they got to being who they are. That's crazy. Yoga Joe. No question. ISO Joe. <laughs> and here's the thing. Now in the playoffs, the Houston Rockets can play multiple styles. Yes, we know that they can beat you with the three, but they've done that in the past. Now if they want to go defensive, you can go CP3, Bamute, Tucker, Capella, Ariza. Man. Then if you want to go shooting, uh. Anderson, Gordon. So this team is loaded. Joe can get you buckets. I really like their chances this year in the playoffs. Yeah, and I like the fact that they can go with no center, right? They can just go no center. Joe, is he's a big guy. He's huge. So you're talking about a guy who can play multiple positions, that can switch out on different mm -hmm. guys. The thing that Joe adds to that team, though, you can't switch anybody on the Joe. He's going to punish the switch. He can go get buckets when you need him in mm -hmm. tough games in the playoffs. This team is uh, dangerous. <laughs> yes. As a coach, I would imagine this is that's like a dream come true. You'll figure it out. And you just you never know what can happen, too. If you have an injury, a tweak, you feel that next right. guy right in, depth is a good thing. All right, this is the question that's going to take us through to the end of the regular season. Who do you have more faith in for that number one seed, the Rockets or the Warriors? When you say faith, you have to say the Golden State Warriors because I've seen them win 73 games. Yep. And they have an easier schedule for the second half of the season than the Houston Rockets. And they understand a sense of urgency that Houston is coming. They can't allow the Rockets to have confidence by getting the number one seed, Coach. That uh, now all of a sudden <laughs> makes them a lot more vulnerable. Yes, it does. And I just this reminds me so much of that fourth year with the Heat where we gave Indiana – the first seed, but I felt like our team just wanted to see if we could go do it. <laughs> because the Warriors, they know they got this swagger, they got right. this confidence, and it's like, ah, we can beat Houston on their home court if we happen to give up home court. And I know that drives Steve Kerr crazy. Mm -hmm. Houston has more incentive to push for that number one seed to give themselves a chance. Because if they don't have it, I don't think Houston can get them. We saw this last year with the Cavs. They basically right. allowed the Boston Celtics to have the number one seed because they felt like they had what it takes to beat them in the playoffs. The Golden State Warriors can't play that game with these Houston Y'all are convinced uh, me this Rockets thing is different now. They're it's dangerous. different. It's different. It's different. All right, switch.